All right, so we just uh, got off that crazy part of Reloaded. I made my return, and you know, towards the end of that, you know, Daniel said a few things to Steve that really was just uncalled for. Um, I'm surprised that you did that. I mean, I thought you were trying to help Steve, but um, it looks like that's not the case. So, Daniel, I I really think you should apologize because that was just you really think, uncalled for. You think? Wait, wait. You think it was uncalled for? No, as of right now, you've seen it been building up for the past couple of months. You've seen it been building up for weeks and weeks on pawn weeks. You, the, the actions he has taken has been building up. And you should have seen it coming out of all people. Of all people, you should have seen it coming. You know, everyone should have seen it coming that I've been done with him. That I've been, I've been frustrated. Every match, he keeps getting closer and closer and closer. And, and that was uncalled for. I don't think it was uncalled for. It was needed. It was desperately needed. It was a wake-up call for me and my career. My career is not going to go to crap because of someone that is a paper champion. Less than 20 minutes. I just want, want to stress that out. And Steve, all right, he is as good as, you know, a paper bag, all right? He's worthless. Uh, hello? Look what the cat dragged into the call. You might as well just just come out and say whatever you need to say. What are you going to say? That you need an apology? Colin's already telling me over here that I should apologize to someone. I don't think I need to apologize to you, Steve. I think it is you that should be apologizing to me for ruining mania for me. For ruining my chance at redemption against Steven. You ruined that for me. You, you. It was funny that you thought that you had a chance at Mania. To, to main event again. Mania. You think it was funny? I think it's funny that you could have main invented Mania in the Royal Rumble, being since you basically took my spot. Well, you deserve it because you fucking ditched everyone that day. Okay. Well, I had other things to do. If I walked out tomorrow, oh, what do you think would happen? The owner cannot find anyone to replace. <laughs> Me because I am just that damn good, and I have been no, yeah, one of the best in the town. You've took away something from me that, that? it's like this taking away like a king's does. crown. I am basically the king. So, so would you really come in here for the call? You didn't want an apology. You wanted to hear to hear Colin say something else. Come on, let's hear it, buddy. Colin, I want to match a mania. Steve, I told I, you, there's nothing for you. <laughs> I told oh, you. Oh, man. I want, I mean, as wait, much wait, as I wait, want wait, you guys wait, to be wait. on the car, there's nothing did for you. Wait, did, did you see what happened last week? You want a match against the king? Lost. You want a match the against king? the king of RW. You should okay. not even get a match. You want a match like against Daniel? Like he said, there's, there's, no play, there's no place for us on yes, the card. Okay. Well, Daniel, the roots, if you technically think about it, you just need to think hard enough. I don't want the match. Nah, I... I I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk away. You know what? You made a it, pussy. It, it, you know what? As of right now, I quit. And if you, and if you make that match official, I'm gone. So right now, I quit. And oh, so wait, you so you think that's a so joke? You don't wanna, I'm not. I'm quitting. So you don't want to get right your ass beat. So my contract is officially, or whatever happens, I'm gone. I'll only do the match if you put your contract on the line. You know what, Daniel? I will put my contract at the top of the line. And if Colin, and if I lose, then Colin, he has to fire me for however long he wants I to. I cannot wait till he says those words, but as of right now, I'm not I'm not taking them. Well, you it. have to put your contract on the line. Well, as of right now, I'm not in the company. So unless Colin wants to rehire me as of right now. As of right you know, now. I think that's and a pretty good idea. I think we should do that. I think Steve on one versus wait, Daniel. wait, wait, wait. At Mania, you want to do a contract versus contract match? Loser gets fired. Mm -hmm. I don't know, dude. So you know what? Let's just do the match. I'll do the match o under one condition, because everybody wants to mm -hmm. see it. You want to see it? See, you want me so bad, Steve. You know what? I'll give you your opportunity against me in a no-holds-barred match. You want that? You got it. All right? You are going to be lucky if you come in and come out as the winner. Because as of right now, kings don't lose. Daniel, I accept the match. Uh, Colin, uh, do you agree with these terms? 
you know what, I think that's a, this is a great match. I feel like you two definitely, um, you guys deserve to be on WrestleMania, and, you know, the time is right for this match. So I agree to that. It will be Daniel versus Steve with their contracts on the line. The loser will be fired from Retaliate Wrestling, and also it will be no holds barred. All right, guys, we are just days away from Retaliate Wrestling, WrestleMania. Now, we already have three matches set in stone for the show. We have Daniel versus Steve with the Retaliate careers on the line. The loser of that match will be gone. All right, so we also have Zayn versus Steven for the Retaliate Wrestling International title. And finally, guys, we have Christmas Milk versus HH, two former Black Oak Crew members fighting for the Retali Wrestling World Title. Now there's one more thing that I haven't taken care of, and that has to do with Billy. Let me stop you right there. Okay. All right, I'm not upset that you fired me at all. I'm more upset that the channel's gonna die the way it is because I did a ten times better job than you did. You were out on the shelf, and I was doing a way better job. I was making sure the channel stayed afloat. I was, I was doing everything. I was, you know, I was getting people entertained. You started pouring in. They were asking, well, what's Billy going to do next? What wacky adventure are we going to get and do? All right, if you were on the shelf, I was delivering you free cash, the cash flow. All right, the 83 cents coming right into your bank account. Okay? And that really pisses me off that you're going to ruin the channel that I work so hard to keep. I'm a better GM than you, a better owner than you'll ever be. All right, Billy. Well... You can say whatever you want, but everyone knows that you were screwing everyone over. Um, you were taking advantage of, you know, the position you had. You were taking over, basically. You know what, Colin? I think I should just become the GM again. Because while you were out, I was the one making money. I was the one bringing in the most views the channel's ever gotten. Our 2K videos are blowing up because of me, and it's something you haven't been able to accomplish in your whole year. All right, Billy, I did have this in mind. That's why I told you to stick around. Um, I want to be a nice guy. If you really do want that position back, I will do this for Retaliate, and you will be fighting at WrestleMania, and that opponent will be me, and the winner of that match will be in full control of Retaliate. So, how does that sound to you? It sounds, I think you should be a comedian. That was funny. Well, Billy, I'm willing to do it for my channel. I'm willing to do it for Retaliate. I gotta do, you know... This is what everyone wants. Nobody wants you as GM. You were screwing everyone over. You were acting like you were doing a good job. Colin, when you look at the WWE, do you think Vince McMahon cares what Titus O'Neil thinks about his company? What Natalia thinks about his company? No. He builds it, and he steps on everyone's back. It does not matter. And that's exactly what I did. I brought the company from here to here. And really, no, you, you didn't. didn't. Down to <laughs> no, you didn't. You literally destroyed, like, you literally ruined everyone's career almost. You ruined Zayn's career. Look what you did to Zayn. You just stripped him of the title for no reason. Well, he built good character. <laughs> what? <laughs> this kid literally, he finally oh, he co overcame four other people in the chamber. No one expected him when he finally did. That was his first big accomplishment in Retaliate. And you took that from him. Why did you do that? That made, that made no sense. Because Marcus took my shot. He took my title from me. And someone else needed to feel that pain. And now, he'll be like me. He'll think like me. And he'll become the next world champion. I helped you out in that case. No, I really, I really don't think you did. That was a terrible decision by you. That was awful. No. And then you tried to... Then before that, at the chamber, you inserted yourself in the world title match. Mm. Giving yourself a title match against Milk. What was that all about? I mean... Milk's, I mean, the fact that Milk even earned the title was a disgrace. This man is just... He, he He's just an old man. And he doesn't need to be here. And I think it was an absolute travesty that he was able to become the champion after the... Again, ruining the legacy of the champ title. Well, really, the bottom line is they took advantage of your position. You know, I thought I can trust you. I gave you two chances. After the Rumble... I forgave you for what you did. You apologized to me. And then I was out with, you know, my injury. I did, you know, get something fixed. And I was out for a while. And they took advantage again. So, at this point, you know, I don't think I can trust you anymore. So. Um, All right. Well, I guess I'll see you at WrestleMania then when I take right. my company. WrestleMania. Back. It will be Colin versus Billy. 
for the ownership of the company. And this is the first time ever MASH. This has never happened before. So. Never. Never happened again. I'm not giving you a second chance. Okay, right. Well, see you guys at WrestleMania.